Welcome back for this update. Still working on the uh, signaling for the project. Uh, in the first video we looked at uh, putting block detection in, uh, especially when you don't incorporate that in your layout when you uh, first uh, put the uh, track down. So we covered that. Uh, the second video we looked at the, the capabilities of the uh, DB20. So this, uh, this video I wanted to talk a little more about the uh, Nano uh, Arduino the uh, script for it, the wiring. Uh, I built a little interface board to go between the signal and the uh, Arduino a Nano. So we'll look at that and uh, let's get started. Okay, we want to uh, take a look at the uh, Arduino Nano and uh, this is a smaller size to the regular Arduino. Uh, it works out perfect for uh, doing small things on your layout that you want to automate. Uh, I use this for the campfire. I use one of these uh, for the arc welding uh, in the machine shop building. Um, and those come in a pack of three. I pick them up off of Amazon and they run about $4.60 each. Uh, what is that? It's about $14 free shipping. So uh, those are inexpensive. Uh, in that package, uh, you also get the uh, edge connectors that go on there and solder that. We'll do that in a second. Um, one of the other interesting ones I found was this uh, holder for the Arduino. Uh, once again on Amazon, they come in a package of five. And I think the five that was uh, like $15, so they're $3 each. Um, this makes a nice way to mount this to your layout. It gives you two... Uh, uh, screw to uh, to hold that up on there uh, allows you to plug your nano into that and then taking your wires uh, on and off the board uh, with a screw holder so um, one other nice thing about it it gives you a nice fixture for soldering these pins into the nano and we'll do that now there we go it slipped in that time so now we've got the uh, the pins in there uh, we can take the uh, a nano, lining it up with the uh, ones inside, and we can slide that on there so the uh, pins are. Now we can go down and just uh, solder those in. Uh, I use a soldering iron with a very, very fine point on it. And solder is of the fairly small size also. So let me solder those and I'll get right back. Okay, we've got all of our uh, pins soldered into the Arduino and we still have easy access to be able to mount this so we will install this on our test unit see how it works here I have a uh, project PC board uh, I started with a larger one uh, I think I bought 10 of them on Amazon for about five dollars uh, I took and I cut those into uh, four pieces uh, this is about one inch by uh, inch and a half and I'll lay my res resistors in there to uh, uh, give the uh, correct load for the uh, searchlight. Okay, the circuit board with the uh, resistors mounted on it. Now you can use uh, a resistor for the supply. This is uh, going to the anode and you can put one resistor in and control all your lights off of that. Uh, the, the problem I find is that your yellow light will be a lot dimmer than your green and your red. What I opted to do was to put resistors on the uh, return on the cathode side, the three legs coming back. Now I use five volts and that five volts is supplied by the Arduino and so I run the 5 volt lead here 
coming from the Arduino. And then this mark here, red, that tells me that uh, this is going to be the red, this is going to be the yellow, and this is going to be the green. And here on the red, I use a 2.2K, the yellow, a 1K resistor, and over here on the green is a 3.9. What's very nice is that Showcase Miniature supplies all of these resistors with your searchlight. Now if you're going to be using 12 volts to control your searchlight, you're going to need a little bit more resistance in here than what I have. Uh, so just don't burn the LEDs up. They are expensive. So let's get this board mounted. And okay, I've attached the uh, board to the bottom of my layout. The uh, cable coming in there has got uh, four conductor, a uh, 22 gauge. And those leads run back over to uh, the Arduino. And then on the other side of that board, you can see the wires, very, very, very fine, coming down and attached uh, to the other side. Okay, here we have the Arduino Nano mounted to the underside, your DP20s picking up uh, detection from the track. Uh, the wires there coming off going to that terminal block is actually what's sending the signal out uh, to the signals through that uh, four conductor cable. So let's take a little closer look at uh, the connections on the Arduino and then we'll uh, take a quick look at the uh, sketch. On the uh, Arduino the numbers in parentheses are uh, your pins on your interface board but uh, pins 4 and uh, 9 will be used to run over to your DB20 to control it. Uh, 5, 6, and 7 are your red, your yellow, and your green LEDs. Then 29 and 30 is your supply voltage. Uh, you can I recommend anything from 7 volts to 12 volts, 13 volts uh, work just fine. And pin 27, that's going to go out and uh, be your supply for your LEDs. I wanted to show you the first part of the sketch here. Uh, that uh, pin 6 will be your DB20 track detection. 2, 3, and 4 are going to be for your cathode for your red, yellow, green LEDs. To lengthen the yellow uh, light out, if you want to extend that, uh, extend the delay for every 1,000 that you extend it, that will give you an extra second uh, of light for the yellow. Okay, now we've got the uh, interface board and the uh, Arduino Nano uh, installed uh, on the layout. Uh, we'll take a look in the next video at uh, getting the searchlight put together and uh, getting that installed on the layout. Remember the uh, sketch is uh, in the uh, comments section down below. Please feel free to use it. I thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back here again real soon. Have a great day.